Hi there, Toy here. Are you ready for some shameless self-promotion? No? Me either. So for today, I'm actually going to be promoting the work of some other authors, but I will be sprinkling in some self-promotion as well. But before I get started, what is all this about? Well, today just happens to be Indie Pride Day, which I like to specify as Indie Author Pride Day because I can. Um, the lovely people of Indie Books Be Seen are trying to make this a movement and I am totally on board doing my part. So without further ado, I give you Indie Books. This first book is Seagram. This is the first book in the Fandoman Saga Book 1. It has an average rating of 4.2 and it is a fantasy. It's the story of an all-American restaurant-owning family with secrets and ties to another land. Poppy48 says, A joy to read. A story about a normal family that really isn't. It's fun to learn what makes them not normal. Eternal Curse Giovanni's Angel. This one has an average rating of 4.3 and it is a paranormal. Mira meets Giovanni online and her life is forever changed. Beauty and the Beast meets Jekyll and Hyde with angels and demons. Reedster Quilt says, This story is full of so many emotions. I laughed at times and was on the edge of my seat. It's a beautiful story. Since this is one of my own, I feel obliged to mention that it's currently part of a special promotion. Visit the Toy Box of Words uh, link below to learn more. Blood Mark, The French Chineers Book 1, average rating 4.2. This is a paranormal. Greta has fevered dreams in the real world and Jarmir protects her family in the shadows. But now he's tasked with saving humanity because Greta is the key. Morana Blue says, Greta, our heroine, is thoroughly gutsy, very funny, and chosen. The Shadow Rises, Witch Hunter Book 1. This has an average rating of 4.2. It is a fantasy. Hunter Ashley is a talented seventh generation witch hunter about to take on the Shadow Witch. Feed Me in Book says, it's a draw dropping, stop you in your tracks yelling, what the double H-E hockey sticks was that? Ice. Average rating 4.3. This is a mystery of sorts. The telepathically connected town of Minterville is about to face a full on the birds scenario with an ice queen. Victoria Schwimley says, The author cleverly weaves a tale different than any mystery I've ever read. Eternal Curse Battleground. Average rating? None. You could be the first. This is a paranormal. It brings the narrator of the first book into the action of the second installment. This is a dark Oliver Twist and Annie meets Jekyll and Hyde with angels and demons. Since this is also one of mine, I feel it's okay to mention that it's part of my special promotion. Click the link below to learn more. Taken by the Huntsman. Average rating 4.4. This is a folk slash fairy tale. This story tells of a fae leader of the hunt who kidnaps the human woman destined to be his soulmate in order to protect her from his enemies. G. Monstre says, the author introduces the reader to a world filled with magical creatures and situations. Half the fun of this novel is witnessing Cassie navigate an unknown world. The Bridge of Death, revised edition, a love story and a mystery. Average rating, 4.7. This is a metaphysical novel. Fact and fiction marry in this tale of new lovers who discover they are connected to a long, unsolved mystery concerning a plane crash during the eve of World War II. R.E. says, I was so impressed with the author's story in that you could almost feel what she must have felt as she tried to uncover the past. 
Seed, Keeper of Genesis 1. Average rating, 4.7. This is a paranormal. Sage, an archaeologist's daughter, uncovers the secret to an ancient artifact and begins a globe-trotting adventure to control the power of the artifact while considering the allure of one St. John Rivers. Hannah says, there is a reason this has so many five-star reviews because it's that good. Legend of the Boy, average rating 3.7. It needs some more. This is a sci-fi. Originally a novelette, now part of a collection, this is a doomsday tale about a boy who wants to save humanity, but first he must destroy the world. Ian Matthey says, this is a very clever, if not disturbing story and well worth reading. And since this is one of my, yes, it's part of my special promotion. Spirit of the Lone Horse, Star of Heroes, book one. Average rating 4.7. This is a fantasy. Commanding Officer Joe develops a fear of horses after a throw, but when encountering the stallion's son, she begins to put back together the pieces of her life. Little Miss Editor says, If I could swear here, I would, but for good reason. I had to read this all at once. Always a good sign. Defined by Others, Defining Ways Series Book 1. Average rating, 4.7. This is a contemporary. Anne has just been jilted by her man for a man. Now she's playing a game of manipulation she may not be able to win. One Amazon customer says, Defined by Others is a deceptively dark book. That's what I like so much about it. Of Past and Future, Average rating, 5. This is a sci-fi. 22 short stories that explore the past and the future as experienced by those who can travel there. Lena M. Pate says, Great compilation of short stories by talented authors. A great book to take on the run. Oh yeah, I'm one of the contributing authors so you know this is part of my promotion. Well, that's all I have for today. That's all I've got. But here are some logistics about what I shared today. One, I did not get paid to make this video. It's just something I wanted to do to help support indie authors and celebrate Indie Pride Day. Two, I got permission from all of the authors to feature their books and create some kind of original promotion. Um, with the contingency that their books meet my promotional policy, which you can check in the links below. Hopefully they all adhere to the policy and hopefully you saw something you liked. Three, I included some ratings um, in the video, which I think I explained at the beginning. And um, basically I kind of came up with those by um, you know, looking at the description of the book, seeing how it was classified, reading through the reviews. So I cannot guarantee the accuracy of those ratings. They're, they're just based on my best guess. Four, in the links below you will see a catalog link and that will have a link taking you directly to um, where all of these books can be purchased. So please check out that link. And last but definitely not least, please share this video with other people to help spread the word about how awesome indie authors are and celebrate indie pride day and so that's it this is toy thomas saying i believe that authors are just as important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars see ya